What is going on guys? It's Apollo 1 and today we have for you the world's highest gun streak in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This gun streak is 107 kills in a row and in the beginning you saw him get the DNA bomb. The way I edited it was so that the DNA bomb streak isn't in here. You just see him get the DNA bomb and then the entire streak after so you can feel free to count the kills or whatever. Um, but yeah, 107 gun streak and it's actually the world's first 100 plus gun streak as well which is definitely an accomplishment within itself uh so guys make sure to go check out carnage tally the guy behind this gameplay he deserves a ton a ton of credit and uh honestly like 90 gun streaks 80 70 60 gun streaks even are good like that's a good gameplay a 60 gun streaks basically a double dna which is a good gameplay in itself and uh these gun streaks are always good but to see a hundred and seven a hundred plus gun streak that is a hard thing to do to go on a streak uh to that caliber that long and and not to die and i could be mistaken but I'm not sure actually. I'm not 100% sure, but at the end, I think he only has one death. I think he goes like 108 and one or something. So it's 100 plus KD non lethal, I think. I could be wrong. I'm going to be so mad if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, it could be that as well. And yeah, Carnage Tally, guys, please go down in the description below. Check his channel out. He deserves a ton of credit for gameplay like this. And I'm sure you guys will do that. Show him the Carnage love on this video, guys. Please, 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 because 100 plus gun streak, once again, not an easy thing to do at all. Now, real quick, guys, I want to go through a few different things. If you are new to Carnage Clan, make sure to hit the subscribe button stick around for more content we post gameplays like this all the time insane gameplays that will just blow your socks off every day and uh, you don't want to miss out so subscribe if you're new and also guys if you wouldn't mind dropping a like that would be awesome that would be just awesome if not that's completely fine but if we could shoot for a thousand likes for the world's highest gun streak that would be absolutely awesome and uh yeah also guys follow us on twitter and instagram if you don't already great place to keep up to date with everything we are doing we did a lot of things for the holidays and if you missed out on that that kind of sucks but make sure to follow us on twitter and and Instagram so you don't miss out on future things. Those links will be down in the description as well. Also, follow us on Twitch. We've been live streaming a lot. We actually had a recent 100 DNA bomb stream, so that was pretty fun. I know a lot of you guys were over there for that. Follow us on Twitch. That will be down there as well. So just take a moment, kind of go down through all the links and just follow us on all social media so you're up to date with everything and you don't miss out on anything. That would be great. And uh, yeah, so anyways, guys, today I wanted to talk about uh, some pretty cool cars that I saw in a recent article. And I thought I just would talk about like the future future of cars and stuff. So basically there is this new BMW and it's called the BMW i9. And now right now it's only a concept, but it looks so sick and it looks like something straight from the future. And I just thought like with things like this, and by the way, I'll leave this article and pictures of it down in the description so you can check out what it looks like. Um, I, I, you know, I don't know if I can put it on screen or not, but it's a pretty sweet car and it looks like something right out of the movies that's from the future. It's just ridiculous. It, it looks really, really awesome. It says the current i8 summons 357 horsepower and 420 pounds of torque from its 1.5 liter turbocharged three-cylinder and electric motor which is just that's insane in within itself this this is like straight from the future guys um and that that was the i8 but the i9 this is the i9 that i'm talking about is it's a concept as of now but it, it like i said it, it looks like something from the future and when i know this is like a luxury car and everything but when every car kind of has that futuristic look that's going to be crazy because we're not far from that honestly um everybody that's like you know 50 to 18 years old we're gonna be around for another like 60 to 70 years which is crazy to think about because so much happens in like two years and three years and to think what's gonna be around in 70 years i couldn't even imagine i don't even know what's gonna be around but i know that like cars all the cars are gonna look futuristic because if you look back 50 years ago the cars look completely completely different from what they look now and they're going to update even more in the next 50 years and it's gonna be even faster so uh you know in 50 years once once again, everything's going to be different. Everything's going to change from what we see as of now. And I kind of just wanted to talk about what you think we're going to be seeing here in the next 50 years, next 60 years, and, and what the possibilities are. You know, I think we're going to be seeing potentially a new model of TV where we're going to be like sitting there in our living room and it won't even necessarily be that we're looking at a screen, but maybe we're even in the show or in the program that we're watching. I don't know how that's even possible, but I just feel like something crazy is going to happen um, with TVs. And then for consoles, I feel like, you know, gaming is going to be to the next level. You're going to be literally in the game. You're going to be playing like you're actually in the game. You're going to be feeling the vibration like on your arm. If you got shot in the arm, maybe it's like a little vibration on your arm. You know, obviously no pain, but uh, maybe you're playing Call of Duty and you're running through the battlefield and, and you, you get shot in the arm a little bit. You don't necessarily die, but you feel a little vibration in your arm. And then when you die, maybe you're, you're 
I don't know, everything goes black for a second, or, um, you know, you get shot in your leg, or uh, you feel a little vibration in your leg. I don't know, I feel like you're just gonna be more engaged in everything, and, and that's the way things are kind of moving, and I think they're going to accomplish that, because I know that's what they're trying to do right now, and, you know, 50 years from now, are you kidding me? That's an incredible amount of time. I'm sure they'll be able to do it, uh, but yeah, and then, like, things like, even simple things like the, like the, how we drive cars. I feel like 50 years from now, we won't even have to be driving, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but it will be like remote controlled. It will be manual. It'll just do its drive itself and, and it, will, it won't get in car crashes and it will limit car crashes just in general and there won't be as many every year. So there are positives to things like this, but also we kind of lose that ability of controlling things ourselves, and everything kind of becomes done for us, which isn't necessarily a good thing at all, but you see this in a lot of different things. Like, like I said, driving. If you weren't able to drive, drive, I feel like driving is actually kind of fun. Driving is a, a privilege. It's a fun thing to do. And if we no longer drive ourselves places, then, you know, we're just becoming more and more lazy as a society. So you could look at it both sides that maybe car crashes, there won't be as many car crashes anymore and, and more people will, won't die from things every year. But at the same time, we're becoming lazier and lazier and lazier and we're not being in control of things as much as we used to and we're kind of letting technology control things more than we did in the past. So anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy my commentary. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed this gameplay. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Stick around if you aren't subscribed already. Once again, check out Carnage Tally's channel. It will be down in the description below. Hopefully you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you guys later.